yeah there's probably more than one person that can do it but it's only going to take one and this is about a different case but someone was talking about um, you know the 11th hour and that You know, it's not always the people that think they've always been good and everything. They are not um, promised heaven, you know. It can be the people coming at the 11th hour to Christ, for example, that, you know, it's all at Jesus Christ's, it's at the discretion of, would it be God or uh, uh, Jesus Christ? Uh, um, you know, <laughs> if you believe in forgiveness, redemption and grace, from a higher power right and um, <clears throat> you know this person needs to not have fear it, it's not for the community to judge it it's not for the community to judge you when you come forward because the community are judging you now because you're not um, so 11th hour whatever last minute whatever now is the time it's four long years. You have to give peace to the families and the friends and to your city, your, well, it's a town, to your community. You have to. And do you know what? To yourself. You don't have one free second from pain and suffering, do you? You know, and you can have that. Do you know, have you in your life, have you in your life ever felt that lifting of a burden before? There must be something in your life that you can relate back to so that you can, can you remember what it feels like to do the right things for something? Um, To, to, do, do you know what I'm trying to say here? There must be something in your past where you've felt relief. You know, a, a lifting of a weight. Nothing in your past must be like the burden that you're carrying now. And <clears throat> there is a way out. You know, there is a way out of the pit that you're in. Um... Who's to say it just because law enforcement know who done it, um, this doesn't mean that this person is not going to commit a crime again because what if they do turn into a Thomas Jerome Bruce? It seems like Thomas Jerome Bruce wanted to go out in glory like down in so-called glory i mean he's a scum bucket motherfucking murderer right he's a he's he's a vicious person he's a nasty person he likes people to suffer and he's a murderer he's in jail right now for the catholic supplies store killings killing killings and It was so obvious he was going to get caught. He was making himself known around the area. He was acting bizarrely. And I mean, it, he, he it's like he nearly wanted to be stopped. He's, it's like there are, there are some criminals that find, um, you know, freedom being wild. You know, isn't it funny? Freedom and being wild. It, it, it's, a, it's hard. A wild animal suffers. And wild animals have to be working every day to live and it's not always easy and some people don't like freedom they need security they need routine they need to know they've got a bed they need to have um, things to end the they need to have the decision-making to end the decision-making on what they're doing to get by every day, to live their life, to get through life with their thoughts and feelings, with just the struggle. Um, they just want it over. And maybe it's a way to suicide 
or maybe he thought he was going to have suicide by cop, but maybe it's a way to suicide. It's to, you know, when you are suicidal, you, you don't want to die. You want to kill yourself. You don't want to die, but you, you want to commit that act against, against yourself. You, you know, this is, you know, and maybe going into prison, that's a type of death and you've got this kind of little afterlife before you move on again to the long good night, um, whatever that is. Maybe it depends on your belief system as to what happens to you in those moments when uh, brain activity is closing down and, um, you know, maybe your beliefs what um, you experience um, before brain death so you know and then that's a whole other you know thing I think that's very personal thing what you believe you know isn't it true that you didn't you know there was a whole lot of there's infinity before you were in the womb and there's infinity after and you don't know when you're in the womb and being born that that is only a beginning that it is a beginning so death can be maybe that type of rebirth into another um, experience who knows I don't know but for a person that is someone who knows um, a perpetrator and for that perpetrator both of them have these serious decisions to make about the next phase of life for them and how they experience every day on earth and your new life can start again okay the person that can talk to law enforcement and it's all they need your new life can start that day it's a rebirth here on earth for you right it really will be um it's every day that you're not speaking uh, that you are being judged and that you are suffering from you know the thoughts in your own head so you know um yeah it is interesting what the other rl said robert lindsay um you'll find his blog and the the, the yeah there was a lot there's a lot to read it's interesting but you know I did find something curious, you know, there's, he's got insiders, he says, and everything. And, you know, we know that there's been pictures of crime scene, um, the crime scene released, and there's all sorts of, there's been all sorts of rumor. Um, but, you know, I, I don't want to say this guy's name, you know, BC, the sick fuck who um, does things with dolls, right? One thing I did notice with um, the blog posts is, when it's mentoring, you know, the objects got scattered around as they were in Evansdale and now scattered around um, Libby and Abby's resting place there. Well, that, um, the crime scene um, end zone, sort of, I don't know how I should state that. But, you know, um, he's talking about, you know, the objects strewed around and that they were dark dolls and that probably and that, that, that there's copious amounts of them one thing he does say he just says okay so the two things that um are verifiable from different sources but he doesn't mention um the dolls it's quite weird he'll say um you know the knife near um libby's neck and the posing and we know there's posing um and I would say it's to humiliate the girls with um, in, in obvious ways. But um, he, yeah, so it talks about things that are gossiped about, also known about, and also just um, just suspected, I guess, which is um, violation the objects, the posing, and, you know, the bleach, the bleach cleaning the crime scene enough that there isn't DNA. And people like to speculate a lot that there is DNA and 
the thing that I speculate about might be that there were, were fingerprints, but this person was at the crime scene, you know, he's, um, I don't know, should we say discovering the bodies? I don't know, he's, you know, this person's there. and um, But, yeah, maybe there's DNA, um, but of course it's useless if it's not, say, somewhere that he wouldn't have been able to have, um, acknowledged he touched or anything like that do you know what I mean so you know it's probably useless and that's why Halfmeister I mention what people say about one of the girls maybe being pregnant but I also say it's not my belief um, that one of them was at least not to the perpetrator um, because I believe then that that's something that would have had an arrest because they would have that very very direct link um so you know left pocket bottle of bleach toilet cleaner um gun knives of course um, now to me it does really really look like here you know when you just look at frame by frame and you're just looking at the unadulterated images that show that person more clearly rather than you know the um, Monet's made into Picasso's it does look like here and I sort of have often tended back to that but you know the hat the hat it is worn by this person and there are frames where it really does look like a hat as well. Curtis Smitely, amongst others, Curtis Smitely has talked about the um, GoPro on his head. Um, being technologically um, hip like that, you know, um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a technophobe and which is why I don't, part of the reason why I don't edit videos, partly because I, I I prefer just to sit and just speak. I mean, that's just me. I'm not going to chop, 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 chop videos. And number one, that's a lot of time. I like to just sit down and talk with you. And that's it. And that's what you get. <laughs> um, because I'm a viewer that just makes discussion videos and things, right? And not all about true crime. Um, I'm not a creator. And I'm not creating these edited videos for you, okay? But I think you all understand that by now. But... You know, this guy's got possibly, you know, this GoPro and that would go along with the Snapchat catfishing using a person that looks like Mr. Young Bridge person, right? You know, seen in the area, okay? And in a sense, the cops aren't lying. When they say the young person is the per perpetrator, it's his voice and he committed the crime. That's absolutely true if it's a catfish, okay? And that drawing, um, RL, the other RL, is saying was drawn from memory of what friends of the girls saw from an image on their phone of the person that, um, you know, the Snapchatter and... So, yeah, it's true. That person did commit this crime, that younger-looking person. But, you know, you look at this person's gait. There is, oh, that gait, everything. It is the sus suspected person. And it is curious why someone would push you away. But keep making a lot of videos when they know they could just wrap it up. Just stop. Um, so... This is putting weight behind incognito too. Sorry, I, don't, I shouldn't really name you, lady. You're, you're awesome. You're lovely. Um, I'm not really involved with a lot of YouTuber. I, I don't know. I'm always out of the loop with things that are going on with um, drama or gossip. and I really am. But, you know, it does just put weight to something. And, you know, you would push something away too if you just wanted to keep something going for your own reasons. I, I don't know. I don't want to start going down that track. Um, it's too depressing, frankly. Um, it's too depressing. <sighs> Young girls were slaughtered. This should be the bottom line. Um, law enforcement really need to apply some pressure. They need to get this wrapped up. 
this this is this has gone on long enough. This should, should have wrapped up after that second press conference. Um, you know, it it really should have. And it's now getting to the point where you know someone's morals and ethics. That you, how can you choose yourself? You're actually doing yourself a disservice because you're choosing your own suffering over the suffering of all those families and, and you know, over what happened to Ab Abigail and Liberty, right? You, you're choosing suffering rather than redemption, rather than grace. Um, you know, just get your shit together, okay? Go to law enforcement um, and make your statement and get this over and done with because we're not we're not talking about someone who is repeatedly um you know just creating a public nuisance with petty misdemeanors and things like that right we're talking serious shit here anywho this has gone on way long enough i'm running late i've got to go i hope you have a wonderful day um you know i'm sorry for all the um drama to do with the halfmeister um you know that all started when he, you know, I, he forgets that I had actually watched his videos for years. But then he was saying, watch my videos, watch my videos. So when I would just make some observations about things and he got so rude and I just said, you know, fuck you, Harvey. <laughs> um, so now he likes to actually, I don't know, is he bullying me? I, I don't know, I don't know, not really. I, look, I don't mind. My self-esteem isn't relying on Harvey or what. Um, people might say about me along, um, you know, in his forums or whatever, that's fine, that's okay. But I am like anybody else. I don't like being misquoted or people uh, misquoting me maliciously, not just out of stupidity. What a dick. You know, if you're going to say, oh, I couldn't even be bothered listening, and then you're going to go and quote me, um, and it's something that I said quite a way into the video. You obviously have watched it, but you don't really listen. And what does this say about your observation abilities and your analytical skills? It doesn't say much because you got it so fucking wrong about the pregnancy. My belief about that, the feet, you know. Anywho, I don't even know if this is cut into two videos now because it's gone on to 34 minutes. Um... But yeah, this is my last Delphi video. Go and find the one that I made about Barry Morphew if you want to hear that. It's a little bit of a rant. Um, but I think there's nothing wrong with being blunt. And, you know, Halfmeister, for example, please realize if I wanted to state, you know, um, if I wanted to directly... Um, debate anything with you I would just come out and say it and it would be in my title saying you know H H Harvey Carroll um I think this about something you said or did you know that's what I would do that's the humanimal channel I have a history of doing that it's only about specific things I'm always saying something specifically about someone I don't come out and have a big beef with them unless I think they're a perpetrator like you know my series on the taboo theory um, you know, I don't, I will be very specific. I'll be very direct. Um, I won't, you, you know, so, um, this was you inserting yourself into my script, if you will, or into my, you know, into my play, into, um, that act and scene. You, you wrote yourself in there as a character. We had been discussing on this channel, um, the bloody mindedness of some things. Now, yes, Harvey, you were involved in that as well with your pursuit of uh, McCain as the man on the bridge. And it was really specific, you know, it was kind of aimed at something we'd been commenting on um, was the harassment of Ronald, of, of Ron Logan as the bridge guy, right? Okay. Um, but anywho, that's fine. That's fine. Um, 
I'll speak to you all later, okay? You all take care and um, see something, say something, know something, say something. Um, you can do the right thing and and be reborn.